Okay, so I am determined we're gonna get our falcon. Cause I I really I really wanna try that out. I think that'll be a lot of fun. So we left off in we just got to the ruined era. And so we picked up that. Uh let's make sure we actually did. We picked up the waypoint down here. Yes, okay. Kind of remind ourselves what does what. Smoke bomb and then the decoy. Can I attack the decoy? I kind of can, but not really. What is this place? I don't seem to have gone far, but everything looks so different. Is there anyone here? <laughs> Forgot how fast she was. I got short little attacks, though. I need to get closer. Hello? Hello? It's not... Was it not ready? It should have been ready by then. I don't know if she's getting stunned and I just don't realize it. Because I don't have these problems with, with my sentinel. But most of the time in my sentinel, I'm just spinning around in circles. Making a, a tornado with my two-handed mace. It's pretty... It's pretty cool. Attack him. Attack that guy. You there! You, yes, you. Where is here? Don't play dumb. Cultist? The way void leech. The void? Are you well? Okay. <laughs> Last epoch story, according to Kyle. Go attack the decoy. Yeah, that's so much fun. Ooh, ooh, I got some good ones. I got some good ones. Small talk in a dungeon coming soon to Netflix. <laughs> they won't forget that one. Maybe I am doing it too soon. And it just looks like it's ready to go. Oh, he jumped. What? Something terrible. Leave. Who are you? Those things. What things? The void. You should rest. Where are you? Oh, here's what, what I need to talk to you. You there, I do not recognize you. A guard sent me. Still, you have presence. Hmm? Do you have shard? How did you know? I will get to the bottom. Uh, whether our wards have fallen, foretold holder? Yes, it's a long story. <laughs> Except. Enter last oh, refuge. Nice. Hey, good timing. Alright, so we get a new passive. Uh, ta -ta -ta -ta. 
Yeah, I think let's keep going up with that. And we get to put a point into Flurry. I think we were going down to this. Lethal Vector damaging ailments inflicted by Flurry deal more damage. Yes. Uh, or no, oh, no, 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 I wanted this. This is sp specifically what I wanted, but I think there was something down here. That was good. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The, this ups the poison and the and the bleed. Yeah. So we got to put one more into that. Still feel like I wouldn't mind a little bit more music in this. I was literally going to say you there as I clicked on him. And sure enough, you there. I need to get to the council chambers. What? I must do this, please. Very well. Since you're heading out, accept. Gods be with you. Oh, let's check uh, items because I did pick up some cool stuff. Nope. Mm, nope. Mm, no, mm, no. Mm, physical resistance, health regeneration, uh, increased attack uh, cast speed. So we're losing some melee attack speed and throwing attack speed. I think that's fine. That'll get me some good health regen. Uh, throwing damage, uh, increased elemental damage, plus seven health. Uh, and then increased movement. I like my dodge rating. I like that dodge rating bonus. Adds X. Whoa, what? Augments an item. Oh, 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 oh. That's, that's not an item. That's a crafting material. Last refuge outskirts. I love how you can see the guy crawling up the side. It's so cool. See, like, I know I pressed E there and it didn't go. Oh, come on. Get closer. Minimus, run you stupid mutt. Oh, he's doggy. You, you fought. Thank you. Once. Goodbye. Sure looks like there's something there I should click on. All right, so new waypoint. Let's, you know what? Let's go ahead. Let's head to the council chambers. Oh, that's just, oh, that's what's ahead. Wait, where? Oh, that's right. I don't have, well, I could go back. You could travel back to here, but now I'll, I'll just stick with this. I'm almost to another shop. Oh, the foreground stuff is just so cool in this game. Ah! Foreshadowing. Oh, <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, sure. Let's go this way. There he is again. No, oh, you're going to die. Oh, thanks, big boy. Heal! Get out of there, get out of there, get out of there. Attack him, attack him, attack him, not me. Attack him, nice. Heal! Okay, we got one. Okay, decoy's down. Nice. Whew. Okay. Do enjoy a little challenge. That's why I'm glad I'm kind of like going through this faster. Whew, okay. Uh, nope. Can't wear that. Put 
those away. Sort. Uh, ooh, extra mana, but extra dexterity. Yeah, let's equip that one. Indigo has reached a three stream watch streak. Good job. Good job. We're all, we're all, uh, very proud of you. I mean, you were on one of those streams. <laughs> so who did you choose as your first, uh, first character? Oh, geez. That was a lot. Easy. Too easy. <laughs> Dio with all the dancing. <laughs> Haven't played yet. I also bought Proteus and I only fired that one or I've only fired that one up yet. Okay. I'm not aware of that one. Katie wants to know if she can have an honorary watch streak. Uh, yes. Yes, she may. She absolutely may. Uh, here. Boom. Achieved. <laughs> I also just realized something is chat's not showing up on screen. I was doing something with chat earlier. Oh yeah, no, I had it hidden. There we go. Now it is now it is preserved. I was doing something with the chat overlay and forgot to unhide it. It also should be easier to read now on Bellatro, I think. We'll find out next time I play it. That's true. Goodbye, 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 you there, they all say, you there. Oh, geez, watch out. Watch out. Oh, he's gone. Kill it, kill it, kill it. Oh, he's gone. Don't you worry. Don't you worry back there, refuge guard. I'll take care of it. Goodbye, Rock. V. Okay, so that just takes us back to where we were. Something over, I don't know why I'm trying to zoom in on that map. There is something over there that I want to go check out. There's a couple of quests in the area, but I'm, I don't know what that is. Oh, that's not going to end well. Oh, that was a lot. Oh, geez, that was a lot. Oh, this just in from Buttspot. But but says she is ironic because she's V but not grumpy. And yet, she is always grumpy. <laughs> not very grumpy, but always grumpy. <laughs> Let's go try that again. Oh wait, I got to level up on my smoke. Uh whoops, they're coming. That guy is it's disappointing to like know what's potentially going on around my kid. Um, where was I? I need to look at this. Um, <sighs> a 
Okay, oh, that was Smoke Blade. So I've, I've got more down here I can do. Hidden Blows, Puncture, and Shurikens. I, well, I'm not using those. Umbral Assault. The Smoke Clown has a chance to create a shadow each second at a random location inside the Smoke Cloud. Shadow chance, 25% per point. Okay. Smoke Blades now also causes melee and throwing attacks to leech a portion of the damage you deal as health. That's pretty cool. Uh... I want to see the shadow first. I like all of this branch, though. What? Go away. Go away, chat. Oh, that was much better. That was much better. Okay, let's step back here and level up. Uh, let's do this again. Up our dodge rating. Glancing below chance. <clears throat> Keep doing that. All right, what is this thing? Oh. Oh, oh, this thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I threw a, I threw a poison bomb at it thinking it was bad. This is not bad. This is a rune prison. You get runes from it. What? Oh, I have to fight him. Oh, I was trying to figure out who that was because he didn't seem to be attacking me. I totally forgot how this worked. Ow. Okay, hold the phone. Hold the phone. Oh, you moved. Ow. Okay, those things are hurting. Those things are hurting. Oh, there's one of the shadows. Cool. Oh, snap. Oh, snap. This guy's hard. With those things. Oh, I don't like those things. Oh, ow. Can I kill these? Yes, I can. Okay. Let's work on killing those. I'm sure he's just going to respawn them, though. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, he's hurting me. Oh, he's hurting me. My sentinel could have done this in two seconds. Dagum it. Yeah, they come back. Oh, jeez, now I aggroed him. Crap. Get back here. Quit, <laughs> quit running away from me. I right, got one more potion. Should have used it. Man. Hall. Oh, okay. Maybe we come back to that. Maybe we come back to that. Maybe we come back to that. Oh, he's on the move, though. Oh, I see him. He's on the map, and he's on the move over here. Are these guys going to help me fight him? The game is actually really generous on, like, like because look at his health. His health is still really low. Those guys might actually fight him with me. They're Oh, they're going to help me. Yes. Yes. Get you some. Where'd you go? Yes. Fantastic. I got the club of glory. <laughs> club of glory is not that great, unfortunately. That's pretty good good mm, yeah it's got a lot of buffs it low I, oh but i lose the health regeneration i get mana regeneration that doesn't i don't need that so never mind that's not that great yeah i'd much rather have health regeneration <laughs> oh excuse me i you know what you're right I hadn't even made that comparison. Hey, fellas, what you doing? Oh no, foreshadowing again. Death by foreshadowing. <laughs> oh, 
Hey, hey, hey! Okay, fight him while I heal. Nope, not this time. Oh, jeez. Whoa, where did he come back from? I thought I killed him. He didn't have a health bar. Where was his health bar? That was weird. I like that health. I like that health generation. There's an increased physical damage that I like too, and it's more health. So yeah, we're gonna we're gonna swap those out. See, the funny thing is with the Sentinel, I felt like like you wanted to fight the largest group of enemies that you could in my build which is so much fun this one though it's not built for that obviously it may actually do a higher dps but my sentinels my sentinels um tankiness is just insane There's the other one. Where are you? Oh, you're way down here. Oh, I feel bad. These dinosaurs are bad. Easy. Too easy. All right, so let's head up here. Pull the lever, crunk. Oh, wait. Why am I doing that? Uh... Oh, hey, more friends. Hi, friends. Oh, no. Death by foreshadowing. Broken sword. Where did that go? There it is. Leeching. Okay. Hiding what back here. You here. What are these creatures? I cleared a path. Itera's grace be with you. All right. I think we should probably hit up a shop. Travel back in time, or forward in time, or whatever in time. Oh, that's pretty sweet. Oh, look, the space pup is being cute. So that's a, oh, oh, I haven't really thought about this. So that's a one-handed axe. Um, It's a slower attack. Well, not slower than the club, though. So that's more melee damage, more increased physical damage. Uh, or increase physical damage, increase damage over time, four health on kill, 74% increased stun chance with melee attacks, but you get less, we lose the void damage, the increased, uh, yeah, we lose the stun chance, and then we lose the reduced melee damage being taken, I guess. Or no, oh no, so, oh, t wait, 10% reduced melee damage, what? Oh, oh, it's flipping the phrasing. I was just reading it as red is what we're losing, but it's actually phrased as 
here's what's happening. I don't know why I hadn't, hadn't had trouble reading that. Uh, the Minecraft player in me wants to try the pickaxe. Can't use that. And we don't have access to a forge yet. The forge can get pretty fun. Yeah, I don't need faster cast speed. I still like that dodge rating. Although, you know what? I think I am going to swap it for this one. Because the, the increased movement speed, 8% is not that much. But I'm needing to close the gap with people or run away from people. Um, but the elemental damage doesn't help me much. And the 7... Never mind. We're going to keep the dodge rating. I'm going to sell that. There's just a lot of stuff on that one that just doesn't do much for me. Ooh, we can reopen the chest. Fantastic. <laughs> Ooh. Ourselves a broken sword. So what? So now we're dealing with levels. Look, I've got a level six there. We're level 12. Marauder's Iron Hammer. Okay, so I think I want to change our loot filter. Uh, I, want to, I want it to be this color if it's greater than level... Uh... Oh, no, it needs to be above level five. Oh, I've been doing that wrong. Oh, whoops. Hello. Die. Well, they're firing at me from down there. They're not happy with me. Actually, I should have just Close. probably... Well, I might should have just teleported from the... Um, fast travel waypoint. Or to that from the shop or town. Uh, I don't remember how far this goes. Hey, level 13. You friendly? Not friendly. Where is their health bar? I'm really confused by that. I don't know if I changed the setting. Oh, jeez. <laughs> A beautiful decoy play. Toss it on the other side of him. Okay, but this is not where I'm needing to go. At all. I need to go that way. In fact, well, yeah. Oh, I leveled up. I forgot. Yeah, let's keep committing to this, because I do like this. And then we're going to get to the increased damage with dual wielding in one more point. Which I'm looking forward to that. Let's... Let's up our poison and bleed chance. Let's just max that out. So, I'm tempted to... Someone's talking to me. Some NPC is nearby talking to me. I don't know who. Oh, yeah. The, yeah. So here's what I want to do. We're going to go back here. I don't even know if I have to do this. I might be able to just fast travel to the point from here. Oh, I guess I could. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't need to do that. Minimum 
Thomas. Run your stupid one. Oh, I thought I had got that already. Okay, so yeah, now we're closer to that one. Yeah, we had started this way earlier, and then I backtracked. He's breakable? No. Another pickaxe, not as good as mine. Yeah, I need to hold up. We're gonna look at this again. What did I say? So above level, let's go ahead and say above level 10. I just wanted to highlight ones that are like, bam, Kyle, you should look at this one right now. I totally had that backwards before. Oh, I gotta remember they jump. There you are. Be with you. I've cleared a path. Flee. Goodbye. I said Stay flee. Safe. Okay, so we need to go to council chambers, but that is in the next area, right? Yes, so we still need to get out of here. So where am I headed now? That's probably back up where I was. I think it all connects. I mean, it could be any direction, though. Typically, it'll show me. Oh, wrong button. Oh, no, this ends down here. Very nice. Okay, so that probably hooks back up over there. So let's head this way. Ooh. Different looking. Drop something. Already? How about now? Alright, let's go back. Sell. Need that money. Yeah, I don't know that I'm making any more offline players cause, or characters because I love being here, seeing all these other players. Just adds a lot of life to the game. Okay, that's got dodge rating, increased necrotic damage, more dodge rating, and, and increased health generation. Yes, please. So get rid of this one. That's fantastic. Better. <clears throat> C 
cold resistance versus physical resistance. That has more armor and mana. Eh. Oh, uh, mana cast speed. No, I just don't need that. Oh, nice. Mana vitality, void resistance, lightning resistance. But the other one's got the health regeneration and more armor. Yeah, no, we're keeping that. What we've got. The void resistance and stuff is more important later on. For right now, I think um, uh, physical resistance is better for me. Oh, that's a clear upgrade. One problem playing online is these delays. Do I need to come over here? There we go. I thought he was dead. Or that's a new one. All right, we got a bridge here. Oh, there's a chest down there too. I didn't realize that guy was still alive. All right, somebody to talk to up here. Oh, no, I've talked to them already. Okay, so, oh, I see where this brought us back to. Okay, that's good. This is where I thought I needed to be. Oh, would you guys stop it? <laughs> it distracted him from all the way over here. Oh, revives after two seconds. I saw that. I did not. I had not seen that before. Okay, I saw it up there in the in the in the health bar area. Revives after two seconds that they come back. I knew some enemies had some trait that did that, but I'd never caught it until now. Hello, chest. All right, new passive uh, point. So let's finish out dodge and parry. So now we have a 30 plus 30 dodge rating from that and a 15% chance for glancing blow, which let's remind ourselves uh, receive a glancing blow when hit. So 15% so of the time we take 35% less damage. 
Um, I'm curious. So my do my current dodge rating is 17%. So your chance to dodge a hit from enemies in this area. Dodge chance is increased by dodge rating and reduced by the level of enemies in the area. Oh, that's interesting. I didn't know that. So we're at 17% dodge rating. All right, more smoke. Let's do... Let's, let's add duration, I think, now. Although the leech probably wouldn't be a bad idea. No, let's do duration. Let's do duration. I like I like the shadow. I like the blood bandit too. We'll get to that. Do we have any clues as to where the exit is? came up here. Oh, that's who I've heard talking. Ah. Only a little longer. Oh, jeez. Oh, big boy. Oh, big boy. I'll help you just a sec. Let me get some stuff together. Them off me. Only a little longer. You there, help me. Hey, good job, decoy. Go on, I'll be right behind you. Meet with Elder Gasper in the council chambers. Got it. Oh, right. Yeah, I remember this place now. Forgot what this area was. You. I can I sense, sense that you, you have. have tell Elder Gasper of how you I obtained. See. I see. You were brought forward. Well, he's talking. I don't know why I'm talking for him. Elder I have what can I do? Every Please. Please, the gods Except. have long left this world. Yay, we get but idle slots now. Idle slots are fun. So, a new loot has appeared in the game. We have this whole puzzle piece thing over here that slowly expands as we level up. And I can put idols in there that gives us buffs. Uh, six health on kill, 13 poison resistance. Or, right now we have to choose between these two. 15% chance to gain 30 ward when hit. Ward is good. It's like a defensive type thing. I haven't fully understood it yet, but I know it's a defensive stat. So I think we're going to go with that. Uh, let's talk to this person. Hmm. All right, we got a passive point from her. Excellent. So now increased damage while dual wielding 4% per point. Increased dodge rating while dual wielding 4% per point. So now what's our dodge rating? 18% dodge. Yes. Okay, we are going to keep that, though. Put it in our chest here. Oh, I can use this one now. No, oh, no, no, wait. I just saved that one. I forgot I just saved that. Tuck you down there. Follow your feet. What level are those? 
20. Okay. Okay, so we got a quest down there to check out. Still no access to the armor yet. I can start respecking. Uh. I don't know if there's anything I really want to, like, maybe Swift Assassin, but not really. Uh, the door is sealed. Oh, so I can't do that? Wait, why is it? Enter the last, enter the last archive. And I've got a thing pointed right here. I'm very confused. Oh, no. We need to go this way. Oh, okay. That's just a different thing. I don't understand why that has the gold diamond on it, though, if I can't. Because you don't get that yet. Who's wanting to talk to me here? You are. What? Go on, then. Bah. Then we got the, Then we got the gambler here. You can buy items and they might be good. They might be trash. It is kind of fun to do. It's my gambling coming out again. Yes. A fine choice. You have a good eye. It's not as good though. <laughs> I can't, that can't be offhand. Uh, oh, melee damage leech does health though. And then two, two health on melee hit. Oh, that's not bad. But the other one's still better. Another rare. Not bad. Okay. Still not good, though. Sure, we'll try the broken sword. Okay, magic. Want to go again? So I need to put this one in main hand so I can compare. So this would give me plus five melee damage, plus three melee void damage, 18% increased melee damage, but I would lose base attack rate, and crit chance, melee crit strike chance, 8% reduced cast speed, which doesn't matter to me, 42% increased stun chance. Okay. Ooh, what is this? Sacrificial knife? Ooh, it'll be a level 12 plus. Oh, I hadn't noticed that. There's levels on these. Oh. Looks powerful. Okay. Cold damage. 21% chance to chill on hit. 19% chance to slow on hit. And 50% chance to bleed on hit. I like it. Let's get this one too. And then that's it. That's all we're going to do. Oh, common. Shame. Boo. Think about luck though. That's a shame. I've actually never gotten a common. I didn't realize levels were a thing on this. Okay. That's enough gambling for today. Let's go sell the other ones. Yes. Oops. Follow your feet. <laughs> Palacho is a gateway to many abilities, some considered to be unnatural. <laughs> Oh yeah, this area is fun. It's a great place to farm for gold, except not really. Oh my goodness, would you just attack? There we go. You can now use your portal to return to your last visited town. Okay, thank you. Uh, 
Yeah, so there's Ezra's library, but there's also something else up here. But let's let's find Ezra's ledger. Let's do that side quest. Yeah, these guys. These guys have a funny laugh. Kind of creepy. Uh, looks like we need to... Oh, well, it could be either direction. Boom. Yeah, see what I mean? Oh, get out of the... Get out of the void. Yes, child of mine. Oh, you're just looking at what I was playing. He said something, something bacon. They're very, uh, they're very borderlands. Oh, get out of there. Nice. Good job, decoy. Easy. Too easy. You heard bacon too? Okay, so it wasn't just me. And that smoke bomb was really delayed. Okay, so we'll leave this direction. It's pretty cool seeing my dots stack up. Whoa, we got a... Oh, it was the it was the relic. This. Ah, okay. So we got a tome of elements relic. Two percent of a two percent of elemental damage leached as health. I'm not doing elemental damage though. I don't think. Well, that's doing cold damage. Okay. Forty per forty four percent chance to chill, shock, and ignite on hit with elemental skills. Oh, with elemental skills. 10% chance, 10% increased chill, shock, and ignition, du ignite duration. <sighs> but the other is 14% increased damage over time, 12% increased mana. I mean, let's try it. I, there, there are some good positives to it. Uh, minion health, minion damage. This will all be great when I have my falcon, but I don't have my falcon yet. 13% chance to ignite on hit. Sure, let's go ahead. Um, yeah, I mean, it's a little creepy, but you could watch this one. Oh, it was a two-handed mace. shaking my whole desk all right we'll go return this so we got some books to read i once believed the shards would be safe where the gods could not rip what happened when i tapped into this power why did one shard come oh are you wanting a hug you were just kind of standing there awkwardly i wasn't sure what you wanted oh are you going to bed okay love you sweet you I think they heard you. Buenos, Look at this green. Buenos no niches. <laughs> Buenos no niches. <laughs> I haven't seen Kieran. Kieran hasn't been feeling really well. Poor guy. Well, I say that. He was he was playing Guild Wars 2 with me on Sunday, but I know he wasn't feeling well. 
There he is. Buenos noches, he says. Yay, she said. Gracias, gracias. Muchas gracias. By the way, Kieran, I don't know if you saw this, but I made a, I made a Kyle montage. <laughs> I love them. <laughs> Not happening. What? Goodbye. Bah. Okay, passive point. Uh, so we've also got sapping strikes. When, oh, when you use a skill that costs zero mana and hit a, hit an enemy, you regain health and mana. I am spamming attacks that don't do mana. Poison tipped. You have a chance to poison on hit while you have a dagger or bow equipped. It's based on what I have equipped. Let's go with this. So four health per attack now. With this and with that, those both cost zero mana, which is awesome. Ooh, I got, ooh, he gave me fancy gloves. Okay, 3% of L, and these, and these, um, Uniques or whatever they're called. Well, this one was... Well, that one's a relic type. But I think their classification is unique. Yeah, unique. Uh, they're good, but they're tricky. Because, like, you really have to pay attention to the stats to see if they're eventually... If you're, if you're eventually able to beat them. So 3% of elemental damage leached as health. 33% increased leech rate. 13% elemental resistance. I do like that. We're going to go with that. Bah. And I got those. I started getting uniques around this time with my Sentinel as well. So I think those, those may be yes. s like scripted items to get. Which is good because, you know, RNG may not have been kind to the player. Follow your feet. I do love seeing players walk around. That's just so cool. All right, back out. Find the something or other. Thank you. I am well aware of that. You told me that last time, game. Okay, so we need to head out and about. Oot and a boot. Oh, those are the scholars. Whoops. Good scholars, not the Borderlands scholars. Yep, I think he says smells like bacon. Well, that's a big boy. Let's watch out for him. Very good. Okay, so much text on the screen. Let's check out that knife real quick. Sacrificial knife okay not that great oh i should there is an error in this no it says hide on oh but this one i need to say also rarity i'm actually only interested in rare exalted unique set i don't care about magic or normal there we go. The loot filter in this game is a whole different meta game that I love. So what in the world? So creepy. It is so Borderlands and I love it. I think a Borderlands 
ARPG, I mean, Borderlands arguably is an ARPG, but like an actual styled ARPG like this would do really well. It turns out I offered them here. I will guard what little so that gave me mana region. And find a way to protect. Oh, us. there's a chest I missed. This is not the end. Missed the first episode. Why are you a woman? In a go game. <laughs> you can quote Mean Girls. <laughs> you know what's funny? I actually, and the video, there will be a video on YouTube of these. I'm recording these. Uh, the classes in this game are gender locked. So that is why. But I did point out when Indy started watching, I said, look, Indy, I'm playing a girl only because I have to. So sadly, the Falconer Kyle that you made cannot be represented in the game. And I knew that when I chose the class, but it's okay. As quickly as it is here, I am disturbed by it looks this like a pretty good belt. But it is yeah, man, uh, mana region 39 ward gain on poison of potion actions. use. Oh, history is not observed. But it's it four made. potion slots. We must act. <sighs> Fine, I'm gonna swap that out. It is better, it's not necessarily better for me. Drops gold, nice, lots of gold to go spend at the gambler. Like an idiot. You really... Oh, jeez. You really should not use the gambler. Oh, those are two big boys. Two big boys. Where's he at? I can't see him. There he is. Whew. That's pretty sweet. Um, particularly probably better than that. Yeah, that's good. Physical damage, nine health on melee hit. I'd love that. I much prefer the, the melee on hit than melee on kill. Because I have a high attack rate, not necessarily a high kill rate. That's good. Dodge rating goes up. How's our dodge rating now? 19%, fantastic. And remember how I said that I don't need much void protection? I forgot these are void guys. Oh, I can go up here. If you read this, I am gone. I trust you all. You are my people. Which is why I must go. Here we go. There's our exit. All right, got a waypoint here. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, speak with one of the elder. I feel like this is a fight and I can't recall. So let's head back here, sell some stuff before we go into this.
Cat, what you doing? Hey. Hey, leave my bag alone. Hey. Looks like he was nipping at it. Hey, there's a Thor dude right here. With a big Tesseract or something. <laughs> yes. No. Okay, um, uh, mm, yeah, mm, yeah. I like that health regen, but we're gonna swap those out because that's definitely better in a lot of other areas. Follow your feet. I don't even know for sure how the health gen works. Actually, let's, let's, they have a great game guide. Uh... I say that it doesn't necessarily tell me in there. I just want to know, like, it's got to be in here. Oh, that's damage. Defense, maybe. Oh, health regeneration. Points of health generated per second. So I don't know if it's like, I'm assuming it's all the time. I think it would tell me if it was like only out of combat is kind of what I was looking for. I'm assuming it's all the time though. It's down. Um, okay. Are you looking for a penion? What are you doing? I forgot about this triple fight here. Oh, get out of the line. Oh, I don't like being in that. Get out of that. Nice. Good time for a level up. Attack him. Get out of that. I throw poison at you. Sticking with it. Good, good, good. Go attack him. Go attack attack him, buddy. We got this. We got this. We got this. Nice. And that's why we went and sold things. Any chests or anything? I don't think there are. Gasper, sounds good. Gods be with you. Okay, Stay new quest safe. from him. Find the armory. Panion yes, they said Panion was after the shard. Where is he? I fear what can we do? Please Accept. Stop him. All right, got more passives. I do love this health gain. Let's do one there. That just seems dumb not to use. Like, I really want to max this out. I hadn't even looked at that one. I was just so excited about the increased duelist damage. Uh, anything else down here to grab? Oh, let me go sell. Yes. Uh, 
faster melee attack speed. Increased poison damage. I do like this one better. The other one might be better with my falcon, but I don't have my falcon yet, so... Follow your feet. I'm assuming my falcon counts as a minion. Ooh. Uh, he's a... Uh, uh, I can't remember what they're called. One of the animal dudes. Druid. Oh, there was some, some bounce back. Where did I put my, here's my phone. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Uh, we'll have to try that again. Sorry, email. Funny work email. Animal dudes, yeah, that's their class. Hello, gentlemen. Can I help you? No? Devoured husk. down here oh just chest okay I can take that ooh fancy belt fancy belt thorn slinger plus one to physical skills 47% chance to bleed on hit 6% increased movement speed 6% increased throwing attack speed and 41 damage reflected to attackers. Yes. I am spiky belt. Fear me. Oh, that's a... Oh, these things. I hate these things. You gotta kill those things fast because they just keep spitting out things he like went right past him multiple times well not him but ones like him 300% damage reflection nice I do I do word well hmm <laughs> Oh, I've got a smoke level up I need to do. Yeah, they keep going right past me. It's so funny. It's like they have a weird delay. Like, intentionally. I think it's like one of their character traits. That was close. Alright, let's level up. Smoke. Let's do, let's go ahead and up our Umbral Assault, 50% shadow chance. Oh, and uh, uh, Flurry has an upgrade as well. So let's up Vile Tactics. Teeming Husk looks like one of those toys Sid made. It <laughs> That's great. That's funny. I love the parallaxing in the background. It's just so good. Like, you just really feel like you are, like, on top of this sunken city of villainy.
Well, he gets me every time with that jump. And I'm, I haven't even read what the shadow does. I'm assuming it like distracts them or attacks them. I mean, either way, I'm happy with it. I don't even think it's said. Okay, create shadow. Create a shadow of yourself that persists for up to five seconds and will imitate your next shadow cascade. Oh, shurikens, umbral, umbral blades, or acid flasks. Up to three shadows can be active at once. Oh, so he they will only do certain attacks. Acid flask is one of them. I don't even think I have umbral blades yet. And I'm not using shurikens. I'm glad I looked at that. I get umbral blades very soon. So, okay. I'm glad I looked at that, though, because they don't do what I thought they do. Ah, here's that foreshadowing we talked about. Forgot where he was. This is one of those weird fights, though, because, like, you don't feel like you're close enough to attack him, but his hitbox is much closer than it looks. Nice. That was actually faster than with my Sentinel. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh, it's time. We ready? We haven't seen one of these before. Welcome to time travel, everyone. We didn't actually do the warp effect. There's supposed to be a warp effect. Maybe the first one doesn't do it. Or the, maybe the first time you travel to one of them, it doesn't do it. I don't know. Or maybe it's an offline only thing. Who knows? But yeah, so it has kind of a, you know, you have to go back in time to fight the dinosaurs back when a certain land bridge existed or something like that. Yeah, the Lava Sunk Skunk is cool. I like his... It's almost Pokemon-like in, like, the exaggerated tail shape. made it to the other side oh but there's a chest or anything oh no the path continues well we can fast travel back to that thing really quickly oh I don't even know that we were supposed to reach the lower district located beyond the armory yeah I do need to go back I think but we're going to keep trekking through this I see dinosaurs in a video game, though, and all I can think of is Turok. Too easy. Oh, is that all there was? All right, traveling back. Yeah, that makes me sad that we don't get the teleporter. The 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 
There's like a whole warp effect that they've got. Yeah! Now we can check out Umbral Blades and use those. So. Um, oh, I also got Ballista. I didn't notice that. Summons a Ballista that fires bolts at nearby enemies. I may like that. I don't, oh, I get a turret? Oh, snap. I didn't see that. Oh. Okay, Cinder Strike may be going away. Oh, that's cool. Okay, so let's start working down on these because then we can uh, do toxins and, yeah, reopen strikes or whatever that re reopened wounds. Oh, okay, so that damaging ailments inflicted by flurry deal more damage. Okay. Okay, okay, hold the phone. Okay, Umbral Blades. It uses mana. A combo ability that throws two blades, then four blades, then recalls all blades in the ground back to you, hitting enemies along the way. An enemy can be hit by multiple blades from the same throw and by multiple blades from the recall. Shadows, using umbral blades, always throw a single shadow blade that deals 300% more damage and has 100% increased radius. Okay, I like this. It's a virtuoso, yeah! Ah, uh, okay. So this with the shadow is really cool. Uh, I'm not ready to like put points into it yet. I, I like Cinder Strike. Don't get me, oh, but you know what? The Acid Flask is really what's just not doing it for me. What am I saying? Umbral Blades. Well, but the Acid Flask also is used by the shadow people, but I don't care about that. This is, I think, is a much better. So, and I can just hold it down and spam it. Now, the weird thing about this is, is I'm going to be doing it very close range because I'm going to be doing it in the smoke, since that's where the shadows are created. But I'm assuming there are other ways to create the shadows. What's the cooldown on the ballista? Press A to give your minion an attack command. The ballista counts as a minion? <sighs> okay. But I'm assuming it stays still. <laughs> I like that. I mean, that, okay, I would have to respec. I would have to respec because right now I have a lot of points put into the fact that this is flurry. Like not just flurry itself, but also that it doesn't cost any mana. But I could see that, I could see Umbral Blades becoming my main attack. Like even without the shadows popping in, that's awesome. And it's not, oh, it doesn't cost mana. Oh. Oh. I've got to totally respec. Oh. Okay, hold on. Oh. 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 I may be swapping that, but I get I do get a third specialty, but it really should replace flurry. It really should replace Flurry. Oh. <sighs> let's wait. Let's wait. Let's get let's get to like another town and then we'll we'll think about respecking. And real think really thinking about our lives. So if I just do this here. Now I don't see the shadows appearing. They should have been though. And now we know what path Kyle Blaine will take eventually, whenever you get around to actually playing as him again. 
<laughs> uh, yeah, poor Kyle Bling. Um, what was I going to look at? I don't even remember what I was going to look at. Okay, made it to the armory. Oh, I was going to look at the shadows again. Yeah, what what causes the shadows? To drop something. Has a chance. Okay, the smoke cloud has a chance to create a shadow each second at a random location inside the smoke cloud. So it just happens randomly. I didn't see it though. Yeah, they they really work well together. Like even if even if the enemy's not in it with me, I mean, particularly if they are, it does. Refuge guard. Easy, too easy. Oh, it does have a sh not super long range. Oh yeah, they fall to the ground. Interesting. <laughs> Trying to get a feel for it without the shadow and now with the shadow. Of course, these are really small guys. I really like this. If I could get something that that shortens the cooldown of my smoke. Oh, jeez, I forgot about him. Oh, I forgot. It was a turret, not... I was thinking it was my decoy again. He's down already. Okay, we're about to have a whole respec session. Might have to drop something. Might have to drop something. Might have to drop something. Oh, jeez. This is going to delay getting my Falcon. I just know it. Okay. Actually, he said in the first video, he said he wanted to throw blades like you into... Oh, yeah, I did. I did. I really just wanted to be like Indy. Outfits and all. Can you imagine Kyle bling in those outfits? Yes. <laughs> But I can, and it's glorious. Wait. But I can, and it's glorious. I didn't realize I still had a female butt bot. But I can, and it's glorious. I have two different buttons on two different pages. It's disappointing to like know <laughs> what's potentially going on around my kid. Uh. Nope. Okay, but now I need to think about minion stuff because the turret's my minion. And the falcon will be my minion. Uh, ooh, I like those boots. Now here's such a cool thing, right? You ready for this? No, I like that better. When we travel back, that boss is likely going to respawn. Uh, so let's actually let's go respec. We're going to go respec. Uh, Greetings. Oh, yeah. Get some quest dialogue out of the way. Okay. So, um, well, hold on. Okay, hold on, hold on. Let's let's do this first. Um, goodbye, flurry. This kind of stinks because you start back with umbral blades a little bit lower. 
But boy, do these two just work so well together. Despecialized skill. Yes. I mean, I, I'm going to miss this. Don't get me wrong. But this is where the money's at. So let's take a look at this, see where we want to go with this. You have a chance to gain Dusk Shroud when you use Umbral Blades and hit at least one enemy. Dusk Shroud, but what is Dusk Shroud? It's not telling me. Like normally Alt would give me something. Okay, we got to go to Google. Dusk Shroud. But, oh, no, that's Shroud of Dusk, not Dusk Shroud. There we go. What is the Dusk Shroud ailment? In last epoch, the Dusk Shroud, ail the Dusk Shroud ailment is a buff that gives you a 5% chance to gain a glancing blow when hit. Okay. And an increased dodge rate plus 50, but it only lasts four seconds. However, you can have unlimited stacks. Okay. So. Greetings. <clears throat> so we have a chance at dodging better and taking less damage. Umbral Blades deals additional throwing physical damage. Umbral Blades have uh, hits have a chance to cause enemies to bleed. When your blades are recalled, you have a chance to gain haste for one second. Okay, so those are all three of the first ones. Sub-Zero Intrusion, so this is physical damage. Then we have Cold. You now throw a third time with umbral, bl umbral blades with a f with four blades before recalling the blades. It's a lot of blades. You now throw additional blades with umbral blades on the third throw. Kanai belt. You now throw additional blades with umbral blades on the second throw. Oh, every two seconds you throw additional blades with umbral blades on the next throw. <laughs> umbral blades hits. Have an additional freeze rate. Okay, so that's the cold tier. This is lots of blades tier. This goes into sword thrower. Thrower. You now throw so many blades. You'll now throw just one large umbral blade with each throw that deals significantly more damage and has an increased radius. That's interesting. Edge of obscurity. Umbral blades deal more damage her stack of Dusk Shroud on you. I bet this... Is this giving me Dusk Shroud? I bet something in here does. There it is. Okay, so Dusk Shroud may end up being a thing. You are not but budding try to say multiplicative. Multiplicative, yeah. Did I not say it? I was just... I, I It's in here a lot. And so I probably skipped over it because I get tired of reading it. Uh, okay, so this effect is doubled while inside the area of Smoke Bomb. Okay, so good dodging stuff going on there. Backstab. Recalled blades deal more damage, but blades thrown out deal less damage. Emerald Cutlass converts bleed chance from all sources to poison chance. I think I just want to shoot for lots of blades. That just makes the most sense right now. Why did it convert Gunna? It's to disappointing to like know what's potentially going on around my kids. You're not butt budding. That's funny. So yeah, let's do. I've got four points to spend. So we put two. But then let's go ahead and take one point in that. So you now throw a third time. And let's just go ahead and put another point into this. And then I want to go to this one to get more blades. Especially right now. Right. Because right now I don't have enough build other places to like really fine tune all those other ones. This is a good generic branch in the tree. All of this still makes sense because the umbral assault and all that stuff. So that'll be good. So now let's Not consider. Whoops. Wrong button. Let's reconsider what we're looking at here. 
So. So this is always a question I had in like Diablo. So if, if by making this right. So if I make umbral blades, this main attack, and then this can, this can go back to asset flask. I'm not really using it, but, um, Although really I'm using these more often, but this is where this is where they've been, so I want to keep them that way. Okay. A, co a combo ability that throws two blades, then two blades. Okay. Here's my question. Does dual wielding impact this at all? Do not dwell on regret. Not happening. Oh, I can't I can't tell. Okay, here's what we're gonna yes. do. Let's Yes. I'm going to buy a two-handed weapon. A slow two-handed weapon. Here we go. Follow your feet. We're going to leave here. Let's just head out here. To where I can attack. And we're going to see how my attack rate changes when I change the weapons. Because I want it to be fast. Oh, but something is... The first shot does cost mana. That's interesting. There's the return. Huh. Okay. Not that that matters because the other ones don't. Okay, so let's change it out. Not quite right. There is no speed difference. So. So dual wielding doesn't matter now. I mean, with. That's faster. So it improves that. It wouldn't improve that. So that's interesting. So my weapons... Magic daggers while wielding a giant greatsword is peak virtuoso. <laughs> uh, so my weapons don't matter. So I could actually find a cool offhand thing. Unspec unspec out of the dual wield trait because now it would just be hindering me. Okay. I do think I'm not I'm not going to go two handed though. Yes. As funny as that Follow would be. Feet. And as virtuoso as that would be. Follow your feet. We're just going to keep the cleaver. Hmm. I do like that cold damage, but it's average speed. We do want we do want the faster speed on this, so we're gonna put that in there, and then we're gonna respec the mess out of this. We should have plenty of gold to do. Well, it's really just those. Okay, I can't. Okay, so I need I need to lose more points here before I can do that. Can I do it now? No. You have a point in dodge and parry, which requires 10 points in rogue. Okay. Ah. So I've got to undo all of this one. Now I can undo that one. Okay. So. So. <sighs> 
Your melee throwing and bow attacks have increased attack speed and deal additional physical damage. So this this counts as a throwing attack. Yes? Yes. This is one of my favorite things in the game, too, is if you look down in the scaling tags, it'll tell you, hey, anything that buffs these words will buff this skill. So this is physical throwing, attack, and dexterity. It's, it's so user-friendly. So, knowing that, dexterity will help it, as will Swift Assassin. You have an additional chance, or you have an additional dodge rating with a chance to receive glancing blow when hit. Okay. That's also buffed by the by the, the by the Dark Shroud stuff that we're not really thinking about or getting into yet. So I think I just want to buff Swift Assassin. Look at these two. Dodge rating. Evasion, less damage while moving, and agility. You have a chance to gain haste for one second. Okay. Yeah, we're just going to put... Uh, I got one more to put into that. Let's put another... Let's max those two out. Can't wait to see how fast I attack now. For these, though, sapping strikes when you use a skill that costs zero mana and hit... So, this is another thing I want to make sure. I want to make sure that it, it does cost zero mana. It's just that one that doesn't. You have a chance to poison on hit while you have a dagger or... While you have a dagger or bow equipped... But does that mean using that skill gives me the chance or does it have to be the dagger or the bow? Whoops. I held alt and I also managed to hit start. Back to the game. There we go. Poison deals poison damage over time and lasts three seconds. The 30 seconds, the first 30 stacks each reduce poison resistance by 5%. Okay. Right. I think it's more of an and less of an or. Right. So we're gonna we're gonna stick with that one. Okay, so that's maxed out. So next time we've got some more stuff that we can look at. But to be honest though, I don't want to put any more points into this because you need to put 20 points into your base mastery before you can put points into these. So you don't want to you you likely don't want to put more than 20 in your base class. It'll have to cost no mana and require a dagger or a bow. Oh. Wait, what? No, 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 no. Those are two different skills. There's one that's cost no mana. When you use a skill that costs no mana. The other one is um, you have a chance to poison on hit while you have a dagger or bow equipped. Yeah, those are two separate things. Um, so now I want to... Yeah, I was going between them really fast. Oh, and these also tell you like icons for like what... What like damage over time or whatever that they do. Okay. Bal I really think Ballista is going to be cool and I think I'm going to want that as one of my skills. This is probably one of my favorite parts about the, the theory crafting in this game is that you have your basic character skill tree, but then you have your skill skill trees. And eventually you have, well, five skills. I didn't even notice that. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause there's right click and then there's Q W E R. Um, I just love that. Like you level into all these different things individually. It's so much fun. So that, oh, but I lost no, no, I've still got turret. Oh, I lost it when I when I respect. That's right. I'm probably not going to use Cinder Strike. That's fine. Okay. Not dwell on the regrets. She's still flashing Thank like I need you. to talk to her. Oh, I guess I never finished this. Oh, excellent. Haha. -ha. Thank you. Do not dwell on regrets. All right, so I need to reach the lower district located beyond the armory. Okay, so there is a waypoint in the armory, but I have not reached it yet. Oh, wait, I I used a town portal to get back there. Probably would have been better to use that. Oh, well. 
Oh yeah, we're back here now. That's okay. Oh, I love having range for them. Okay, so I do want to confirm something. No, okay, so this does say... No, so this does have a mana cost. Does it only have a mana cost because I did something here? Hmm. But see, it's... But it doesn't always cost mana. Sometimes it... Crap, I don't know what to do about that. Uh, I think I'm actually going to go look that up. So it's... I need to look up Sapping Strikes and umbral blades because I am really not sure S sapping strikes umbral blades okay that alone didn't do much let's do some quotes let's also look up zero mana sapping strikes Oh, that's annoying. This this website, Last Epochs Forums, when you do Control F, it overwrites the Control F in Chrome and does its own search. There we go. And it's not as good. Although the Chrome one's not working either. Okay. <sighs> Umbral Blades last... Hmm. Uh, yeah, I don't. I don't think it's going to count as a zero. So I need to. I need to. I'm going to go back and redo that one. Because it. it oh, man, I don't know if it'll count or not. I do love that skill, though. That passive. Greetings. So now the question is, what do we want to put points into? Um, every third melee throwing or bow attack deals increased damage. I, maybe that's probably the obvious choice. Uh, and then there's the glancing blow. Yeah, so let's do that. Oh, and then I've built into this one. Every third non-channeling melee throwing or bow attack also inflicts bleed. Okay, that works for me. Do not dwell on the regret. I just shred right through them. I love it so much. Oh, now I want to turn off this filter. I don't need this one anymore. Or turn off that rule. Oh, he came back. There we go. He's dead. streaming oh I should I should practice doing the turret further away from me so that it doesn't take the damage near me okay I am gonna switch these so I want the turret and then I want smoke 
And then this can be... Fine, we'll have you be sin uh, Acid Flask since the... Since the... Shadows will do that, and then you can just be the center strike. I don't see myself really using that, but Oh, there's a, um, oh, yeah, yay, we get to do this again. Don't mind that at all. Oh, I keep forgetting where my buttons are now. Now that I've moved them, I'm going to get used to it. Nice. Right, so there's a forge up here and somebody to talk to. There's also a waypoint that I need to go get. Yeah, this is where you learn about crafting. So what we can do is... Oh, I actually picked up a an offhand item. That's funny. Uh, we can plop a sword in here. And say I want to upgrade the, the health melee on hit... I can modify the outcome of a craft, granting it a 25% chance to have no forging potential cost. Modifies the outcome of a craft when upgrading an affix. Uh, randomly changes the upgraded affix. I don't want to do that one. Uh, oh, but I don't have the level to do that. Never mind. So I can't do anything yet. But forging is cool. Crafting in this is really good. I dig this build. <laughs> oh, I, if I had known this character had a turret, I would have picked this in the first place with my, with my sentinel. Crit Shrine, okay. All right, there we got our waypoint. And we've got our marker on our map now. See, there's a point in every character, and I think it's different per character probably, that like it finally starts to feel really cool. And it's actually gotten simpler, which is a good thing.
I'm not even using my other two skills anymore. Got an idol. Seven mana lightning resistance. Might as well use it because I've got the open spots for it. So cool to see my shadows throwing the blades. Nice. Um, but I want to save it. I don't want to spend it. I want to save it. Because we're we're close to unlocking the specialty. So creepy. Huh. Turret's got a pretty decent range. Hello there, friend. Gods. Terra watch over you. Lower district, okay. Wait, didn't... Didn't I just go through to the lower district? I'm confused. Yeah, this is new. Yeah, the armor. That's weird. It, like, sent me back. Did I click on it and I didn't realize it? Yeah, this is where I need to be. Oh, yeah, this fight's cool. Stay back. Elder Panion's body starts to twist and distort in front of you. Run. Hey, after you take my turret down, I'm just going to make another one. <laughs> I can get out of the way of it uh, and still be in the still be in the smoke. Oh, didn't miss that one. He almost got me with that one. What a shame, poor man. But it's done is done. Pick up the shard. Where are we going? Where are we going? To the end of time, my friends. <laughs> Welcome to Chrono Trigger. Oh, we get to see some really high level guys in here. Fantastic. You seem a little disoriented. First time here, traveler. What is this place? This is what is left of your timeline and many others. Welcome to the end of time. Don't act so surprised. Countless other travelers have come and gone from here. <laughs> I must have looked that surprise my first time as well. Most of them don't last much longer. Jumping around timelines is a dangerous hobby. If you want a better chance, you should find your friend, Gaspar. He might be kind enough to show you how to tap into your... Alright, time to go talk to Gaspar and become a falconer. A 
told y'all we were going to do it. Told you we were going to get our falcon tonight. We're not going to use it, but we're going to get it and take a look at the skill tree. <laughs> going to leave leave it at a cliffhanger otherwise. This area is just so cool. You've woken up. How can you help I me? See your countless How do I harness their power? I have I if I warn you. Yes. Then choose a mastery. Eyes. Okay, so and focus on the potential you wish to wield. Right. As I guide the shades to you. I don't know if I can name my falcon. I hope I can. I was hoping I could, but I don't know. So I could be a blade dancer, an artisan of shadows. They dash in and out of the reach of their enemies. Each movement, another deadly cut, which is cool. Here's the other cool thing. You choose masteries, you, or you choose a mastery, you still have access to the first group of skills or whatever some some amount of the skills in all of them so you can mix and match them to a certain degree then there's the marksman a master of bow adept at engaging foes from a distance and keeping them there uh i can't wait to do all this is another thing with this game i can't wait to do a character on all of these masteries and then there's the falconer, a master tactician who employs deceptive traps and a fearsome bird of prey to gain an advantage against her enemies. In passive bonus, we get extra dexterity and we get uh, plus one falcon melee damage per four dexterity. So we get the falconry skill. Passive summons a falcon uh, that fights with you. I will probably actually end up having... E and R be my summons, and then I'll probably end up with another skill on Q. So yeah, we're gonna choose that mastery. Oh, we gotta level up here as well for our blades. Let's get, oh no, I need one more of these before I do. What? Oh, there it goes. There it took it, that was weird. Okay, so we have falconry now, so let's put Let's go ahead and do that. Let's put Falcon. Summons a Falcon to fight with you. Falcon strikes. The Falcon uh, rapidly hits enemies in the target area. I feel like I'm going to use the Falcon. I feel like I'm going to press the Falcon button less frequently because the Falcon will stay with me longer. I'm guessing. I would love to name him after the real Falcon. Can we name him a Falcon? Falcon? Uh, and for here, honestly, I'm just going to do smoke for now, but smoke in both places. Okay. So let's take a look at our passives real quick for the Falconer before we go. Cause I've got one point to spend in it right now. So wilderness scout plus 10 health per point and then plus five dodge rating per point. Oh, and he's buffed by our dexterity. What's our dexterity at? Dexterity is 23. Fantastic. No, it's funnier to name Falcon after Falcon. <laughs> um, I don't think I can, though. Uh, let me, oh, I'm just going to Google it. Uh, nope, doesn't look like it. Although there's a lot of people complaining about the idle sounds of the Falcon. But I bet there's a mod that reduces it. Okay, so that's extra health, extra dodge. Which leads to a couple other things. This leads to nothing. Raptor's wings. You have a chance to gain haste for two seconds when you or your Falcon hits an enemy. Additionally, you deal more damage. Uh, multiplicative with other modifiers while you have haste. So 2% chance to gain haste, 1% chance more damage with haste, or 1% more damage with haste, and then 2% melee attack speed from Falcon. Um, increased minion damage, 7% per point. So this is Handler. Okay, your Falcon, your Falcon and Ballistas have additional base crit chance. Oh, that's your five point bonus after you put five points into it. Uh, and then this is Crimson Skies. You have a chance to gain a stack 
of Crimson Shroud when your Falcon or Ballista hits an enemy. Okay. So I kind of like the, the extra damage for my minions because I want to go minions. So we're going to put a point into that. Let's at least travel out. Oh, hold on. We got to talk to him. I see that you are still you. That's oh, we get another passive point. Fantastic. Necessary. If our world, our reality. Okay, yeah. You want me to go to the council chambers? Video. I get it. Um, I can do that later. Hold on. I want to go travel somewhere else. And well, I can do that from here. What am I talking about? We're just gonna go somewhere. Oh. Uh, wait. Haven't I been here? Not there though. No, Outcast Camp is later. I haven't been there either. I forget about where I've been in these maps. Oh, Council Chambers is where he wants me to go anyways. Missing in the high... Oh, this is where I was looking. I was looking for the kid. Okay, so there's something here actually that we need to do. So might as well see where it's at. Oh, there he is. Oh, he's just out. Hi, buddy. Can I rename you? I don't think I can. That's a shame. Okay, so we need to go down this way to help somebody. Oh, so that's an ability. So he's just out and about, but that's an ability. So never mind. I'm going to swap these. Uh... There is a cooldown on that though. So never mind, I'm gonna leave that there. Might have to drop something. Hmm. That could go over here though. Oh, I didn't sell anything? Oh, Drad, I didn't sell anything. That's gonna be such a low level. Oh, it's not that bad. Whatever. Let's just go do this quest real quick. The Falcon. I mean, this is a low-level area. The Falcon is doing so much damage. I'd have to drop something. That makes me so happy. trap rest now all right inform someone at keepers camp okay let's head back finish that quest and then we'll be done i'm gonna like the falcon and i love the turret this is very exciting it's Hera's blessing sweet prayers be with you all right oh she's looking pretty cool too I gotta find a I gotta find just the right offhand thing for. Her. I would like to do some more research on you know, I'm not worried about it now though, because the blades are doing so well. I like I like what they're doing. Though I would assume I would assume Oh, I don't even What happened to the weapon that I had equipped? <laughs> Why don't I have a weapon equipped? <gasps> I left it in that forge. You leave weapons in your forge. Well, it hasn't made a hill of beans a difference. <laughs> That's really funny. Anyways, well, I got to find a different weapon now. Uh, we'll do that next time. Thanks as always for watching, everybody. We'll see you guys later. Adios. Goodbye. <laughs>